This is the Giro Air Attack helmet. Uh, it is a mid-level aerodynamic helmet. The reason why it's mid-level is because it doesn't cover up your ears on the sides, so you get a lot more cooling. So it is for it's for, it's like an aero road helmet. That's what they call it, the aero road helmet. I don't know why I said mid-level. I guess that's because there's basically three types of helmets that I would consider even wearing. I have two of them right here, the one that's on my head, and this one. This is my, like, this one has 19 vents, and, you know, it's just very, very ventilated, so if it's like a 100 degree plus day or something outside, or this thing, but for all the other days, I will be wearing this, as I just, I just got it, but, uh, I'm already a huge fan. It is, uh, you can actually feel yourself going slightly faster. You only go, it's just marginal gains, you know, with being more aerodynamic, wearing a little bit of tighter clothing, having a more aerodynamic bike, things like that. Uh, my frame is the only thing on that I have, I think, now that isn't aero. And uh, my wheels, they are, I'm getting them, they're coming in. I haven't had, I won't get a chance to test them for another uh, couple weeks, but I actually have got a aero pair of wheels coming in the mail that I got off of uh, for very cheap, uh, which we will talk about later on. Um, yeah, so uh, subscribe for future reviews of just different uh, stuff I get and everything like that. Um, this though, this, this, it, it, I also got it because it, it, I'm, you know, it makes me look like a, I don't know, like a bomber pilot or something. It's got a nice aesthetic to it because there's some other Aero Road helmets. They just don't got this nice, like, aesthetic to them, you know? They just don't have, like, a nice curved off. They make you look like a, I don't know, like a um, cone head or something like that. This is just, this is just, I just like the aesthetic of this helmet. It's just awesome. I should have like a HUD inside here. I need like a HUD, it's HUD display, like power meter right here. And it's like on, on inside my glasses. So I never even have to look down, be able to get that little bit more aerodynamic. <laughs> That's actually probably not a, not really necessary. Um, Although it would be kind of cool to have the power, your power on here for sprints and stuff. Cause no one really looks at their power meter uh, when it's, uh, but that's the tangent, uh, this, the helmet, we'll talk more about the helmet here, maybe that'll be another video, a, uh, concept video for later on, but, uh, yeah, I love the helmet overall, I can't really think of anything else that I haven't really covered with it, um, uh, it's, it got four vents, or no, actually, actually, uh, yeah, how many are there, one, two, Three, four, five. so there's six vents. So this one has 19 vents, so it's a lot more ventilated. That's the only difference, really. I like, uh, I got it in the lime green or neon green or whatever because uh, it's high vis. You want to be high vis on the road. Get high vis, get the bright neon colors, guys, because if you're rolling out with black and gray and just dark blue and stuff like that, uh, you're not going to be as visible as somebody that is wearing, uh, you know, high vis. High vis colors uh, is much more important than anything else. Also, I think it looks cool as well. Being uh, uh, safe also can look good. Um, yeah, let's take it off here. Do a little bit more of an analysis of it here. Got our helmet head going on. Probably. Yeah, all right, well. So yeah, um, it is, I have no problems whatsoever with sweat or anything like that. Oh, the, the uh, visor comes right off like that. Uh, it's a uh, magnetic visor, so it just goes right back on like that, as you guys can see. And uh, overall, very satisfied with it. You guys can see the air attack on the back there. Um, it is... Uh, very, 
very snug, very well fit. Oh, the the back part back here has this little knobby thing you could use to uh, tighten it up or loosen it up for your uh, to fit your head specifically. Um, and yeah, you'll want to make sure you get a tape measure for your head if you have a big noggin like me and uh, that way you don't get the wrong size helmet if you're buying it offline. There's nothing wrong with buying stuff offline, just know what your measurements are, you know. And yeah, so overall, very satisfied with the helmet. Um, if you guys want a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, the other one, I forget what this is called. The, uh, late, the name of it actually rubbed off. Oh, the Savant, Savant. So this is called the Giro Savant. And this is the Giro Air Attack. I really like this one. It gives me... A, I live in a very flat uh, place um, with some puncher hills, but you're still, like, benefiting way more from aerodynamics, even going up, like, a, you know, short, steep climb than you are from, like, cooling, extra cooling. So uh, maybe if I was doing, like, mountains or something, like multiple mountains or something like that, I would uh, don this helmet, but yeah, uh, this is my go-to one. I really, really like this one. Um, and the version that I'll probably never get of this is the Conehead one, and the only reason that that is more aero than this one is because if you keep your head in a fixed position, if you don't know what it looks like, it's basically, it looks like this, except it has this big thing coming out the back of it, okay? And then it also covers your ears, right? So, it, you have to keep your head constantly in that position, otherwise you'll lose the arrow benefit from having the uh, teardrop or laser, or whatever they call it, coming off the back. You guys have probably seen it. You've probably seen like Lance Armstrong. Maybe I'll put up a picture of it, or maybe I already put up a picture of it. Um, yeah, you don't need that though if you're just doing some training stuff and you know you just want to be comfortable and but you want that little bit of extra arrow boost and maybe for some sprints and stuff like that. This is this is your go-to helmet. Uh, all right, that's all I really want to talk about. Peace out. Go vegan, K. Thanks. Bye.